YMH Live is back with special guest Jessica Curson, a live performance by Zarface, more special guests, crazy content, the heaviest segment ever. Live stream at YMHstudios.com, September 22nd. Get tickets now. I long for this kind of romance <laughs> for a man who just woos me like this. Sing to me in Spanish. Oh, yeah. Quiero cagar. You have to shit? Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. You're my son. I'm your mom. You're my son. I'm your mom. Ask them will you ask, ask, ask them will you, you get your mom. Yes, I would. You're my son. I'm your mom. It's just like the gays. It's just like, just, 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 it's just like the gays. I looked at her and she looked at me. And... It's just like the gays. Once in a while he calls me mom, you know what I mean? The bold consenting adult. Ask them, will you, ask, ask, ask them, will you... I looked at her and she looked at me and You're my son? I'm your mom? It's just like the gays. It's just like just 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 it's just like the gays. Ask them will you ask 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 them will you do it? It's just like the gays. Wow. Always puts me in a good mood that song. DJ Boy, DJ Boy Butter. Um, with just like the gays, uh, yeah, so many layers to that song. There's incest. There's legal issues. Mm -hmm. uh, there's gay rights. There's and then there's so also a fun melody. <laughs> uh, I asked him. <laughs> uh, Garth's team reached out, and um, you know what they said. What? Quit calling me a chomo. So <laughs> that's pretty fun. <laughs> you know, on our last episode uh, with Shaggy and the Creep, we. Well, this is before they showed up, but we looked at Garth uh, as a younger man, and I was really swooning over what a hot little ticket he was. Yep, yep. I mean... I'm sure he would have felt the same way about you. Yeah. Hey, Christina! <laughs> yeah. Do you think he would have written a song about me? Sure. Damn, yeah. that would have been I awesome. want to lick them grows. <laughs> yeah, I that would like that. would have been like one that. of his early <gasps> ones. Look at that smoldering... Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Baby face, too. Got God damn. Smooth ass baby face. He's got like old Hollywood l good looks, you mm -hmm. know? Handsome guy. Dang. No wonder he was so popular. And then he grew that stupid flavor saver goatee. That's not good. That's not. That, the goatee's ruined it. Yeah. I don't think he I want to dig in your booty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to dig in your booty. Let me put my tongue in your ass. Let me put my tongue in your ass, girl. I'll be like, yeah. Yeah. Man. Put your tongue in my yeah. ass, Garth. Y'all know it was a banana split? <laughs> I remember I that song. I made a banana split yeah. in Just your Just let ass. me eat you. Let me eat you one time. You can see that. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. I've got friends that want to eat you. You could see that. Absolutely. And the whole stadium is like <laughs> a friend. The whole sweat. They're going back and forth. And he's like <laughs> sweating like a, like a black man. La, I'm sweating la, la. like a like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, those are those old classic G hits. I put a banana split in your asshole, girl. Um, I'm putting some whipped cream on it. Do you want to uh, plug your dates real quick? I'm your son. Sure. You're my mom. You're my mom. You I'm guys. Your son. What date, oh, where should I start? In Oklahoma, Oklahoma City? Okay, September 23rd through 25th, I'm in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and then Indian Apple Tits, October 6th and 7th, and then I go to Denver, Colorado at the Comedy Vux, October 21st through 23rd, I love that club, and then Raleigh, North Carolina, November 4th through 6th, 
Um, and then I rescheduled my Salt Lake City dates to Wise Guys in November, and that is Thanksgiving weekend. So the best you guys weekend to go out. Avoid your family and come see me instead. And then San Antonio, LOL, was rescheduled to November 9th through 11th. And then the Orlando Improv November. Not 6th, November. I'm sorry. December. December 9th through 11th. And then um, Orlando. So, uh, December 16th through 18th Christina P. Online.com for those tickets for those tickets if you clean you clean if you dirty you dirty man you really have been I feel like it was Ed Asner for you and then now it's Uncle Shine Uncle Shine has always spoken to me but I mean I'll never ever <laughs> not feel um, what Leo did for me and, and how he still lives in my heart okay yeah. you come <sighs> that's great He's the ultimate cool guy. He's the best. But then again, is he a cool guy? Because he never harassed anybody? No, he's not a cool guy. But no. he's still awesome. He's the best. Show me that you like me. You know what it has? It has that same innocence and openness that the Four Strokes guy does. Yeah. Where he's just happy to tell you what's happening. He's just he's just reporting the weather. Yeah. There's no like agenda. He's just like, listen, I'm so stoked right now. Like I came in four strokes. My brother didn't believe me, and then he came. Yep. And then there's something sincere about Ed Asner's too. Like, this is no, this is just where it spits. Like, it's so yeah. matter of fact. Matter of fact, direct. There's not not a lot of there's no agenda. No. Yeah, I'm gonna come now. Yeah. Yeah. See, I feel like RPC even has an agenda because he's still trying to rally black guys who want to fucking fuck good. Yeah. Like he's still trying to make the sales. Pitch. No, there's, there's definitely an agenda. Yeah. <laughs> but the other two, they're just there for the, the moment. Yeah, they just wanna, you know. They just want to come and come yeah. hard and like. He oh jacked off in four yeah. strokes. And I want to show you where I come. I want to tell you about how I come and where. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest people we've ever found on the internet. Um, <laughs> I know. Mm. Speaking of great guys, let's start the show. We want oh, to open the yeah, show? of course. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. My kings and queens above 18. I need to set something straight. Oh, boy. I call Christina and Tom from your mom's house. Christine and Tim. I only do it just for fun. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house nice. with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. So many thoughts going through my head right now. Like number one, he's wearing a shirt. Uh, I don't know if I call that a shirt. <laughs> it's a little jarring to see him in clothing. I'm usually I'm used to seeing him hovering. Of over all me. the wild shit we showed Shaggy and the creep, <laughs> the thing that they were like, "Whoa!" was his stuff. Was the King's videos? They were like, "What's going on?" <laughs> right, like the guy in ICP tattooed makeup was blowing their minds. Yeah, we like, were showing him like people's legs breaking <laughs> and you know crazy people, and then we played this. And he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, that guy's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> this, so funny. This is what got him the most. <laughs> yeah, and and just can I say for the record, I think probably a top five YMH moment for me to be watching my favorite TikToker. Uh, the ICP tattoo face guy. Oh my god! With Shaggy from the ICP and I mean, him dunking on him, him being like, yeah. "This dude is a fucking idiot, idiot. man." It was so. That it, was. Oh gosh, I the love the best. Internet. He's watching that video. And he's like, "You fucking retard!" <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a fun, what a fun day, what a special moment. So thank you. I had you, no Shaggy idea what. Creed. Yeah, they, they were fantastic. I had no idea what what to expect. I mean, I thought it'd be fun. Yeah, you know, they're coming to do the show, but like I didn't think it was gonna be that much fun. So much I fun. I was laughing my ass off that whole Me time. Me too. Yeah, and I still thinking about it. I was like, oh, yeah. it was such a good good interview. So much yeah. fun. 
Yeah. Those two, I feel like those two guys are kindred spirits, you know? They're great. I feel like we share a, we share a lane. <laughs> They're great. Um, well, you want to hear what the, um, what the king has to say about uh, us? Of course. I imagine some one person commented, like, you don't, you don't know their names, dipshit. And he's like, come on, guys. Let, me explain. Let him explain. All okay? right. My kings and queens above 18. I need to set something straight. Set it straight. <laughs> I call Christina and Tom from your mom's house. Christine is that? It's truck. and Tim. <laughs> I only do it just for fun. Okay. I don't mean anything by it. I know their names. <laughs> I just do it to spice things up. Oh. So I apologize. Don't apologize. I want to let you know why I do it. I just like to mess with them. No harm. None. She's got thick skin. Both of them do. They dicks, can take a joke. Skin. That's why I love him. She's my big titted animal queen. Oh, wow. Whoa, and he's minute. the king of the month for taking care of her. Thank you. Christina and Tom, I just had to clarify that. <laughs> you have a lot of people on my page saying that I call you guys by other names. I am sorry. I, I apologize. This. You don't have to apologize. I was okay. just messing with you. I know you understand. Mm. I just want everybody else to. Okay. Love you, my queen. Okey-dokey. Tim. Christine. Okay. Where's <laughs> that smile? Yeah, I had to get one in there. Yep. He's sweet. Christina and Tom, you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you. I love you both. Thank you, Steve. I, I First of all, I'm glad you cleared the air. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this was something that was really gnawing at me. God, we were so upset. And like now I don't have to be upset anymore. Uh, no, that that was very nice of you, yes, thank Mr. You. King Guy. Um, to 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 let us know that you're just razzing us, and um, as as you pointed out, you do it. I just do it to spice things up. To spice it up, and it feels real spicy now. It's different, but it, yeah, <laughs> it's um, it was cool. It was so cool that he cleared the air. <laughs> um, oh man, what was I gonna say? Oh, and he, I like that he also wishes us a good day. You have a good day. Yes, you have a good night. He yes. you get him, he's always polite with that. You got to make sure people are having a good day. Got to do it. I want to laugh. Yeah. You want to laugh. Yeah. Good day. Have you having a good, good day? day? Have a good day. You have a good day? What? Did you have a good day? Have a good one. <laughs> okay, so this might be like the communist in me, mm -hmm. but nothing, it like really just, it just irritates me when you answer the phone like, Hi, hi, Mrs. Segura. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you today? And then, then we can go on with the exchange. Like, can we just skip that? Yeah, a lot of people do. I don't want to ask how you're doing. You're not even going to answer me and give me an update. You're not going to answer. The, why do the Why do Americans do this? It's so dumb. Yeah, it's a. It's. I mean, not that I'm not American, but I do feel like it's definitely not. It feels American. An Eastern blocker. It's a. Yeah, it's a chit chat kind of polite. It's thing. fucking chit chat. It's chit chat. How How's everybody doing today? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Can we order? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even answer sometimes. You having a good day? No. Can I get this now? <gasps> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, don't ask me. You don't really want to know. Yeah. How are you? How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? It's like an extra thirty seconds that I don't want to waste. Yeah. Just just do the thing. Let's go. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. You good? <laughs> It's um I know it is a waste of time. God, get on with it. But I'm glad he did apologize, you know, cuz uh, I was so upset about it. Weren't you up nights worrying that he doesn't know your real name and stuff? Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't like that. And I was like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait. he's calling me Tim?" So offensive. You're the first guy to call me Tim in this whole uh, fucking The first box. time ever, Gene. Yeah. Um there's so much to get into. Oh boy. Always, so, so much to get into. <laughs> do you know? Uh, you got some fun clips you're gonna show me. Make oh me yeah. Feel bad? No, no. This is a fun one. So this is Ricky uh, Turkios, MMA fighter, cast member on UFC reality show The Ultimate Fighter. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Ricky Turkios. I'm from Houston, Texas. I'm 27 years old. You know what I'm saying? Hey. But it's good to see y'all for this interview. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be chopping it up. <laughs> He's high. I've done martial arts my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I can remember being a young boy doing martial arts, 
since I was like five. You feel me on that? I remember being in the, that's my first memories. You feel me? He'd even do defense drills. You feel me on that? He would like, hey, put your hands up. You feel me? He would do a little touch, little light touch spar with me. You know what I mean? He pumped some jabs. Hey, that's how you, you got to pick that jab. got to block that jab. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so you get it. Um, I know, I I know what you're saying, and I know what you mean. Yeah. So Ricky, uh, Ricky's doing his press conference. He seems God, like I love a, this kid. Already. Yeah, he's got great personality. Yeah. Outgoing. He's got a big smile. Uh, I haven't seen him fight. I don't know much about him, but I'm on your side already. Um, and we was really, really was dropping <laughs> those. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, you feel me on that? You feel me? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You feel me on that? You feel me? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You feel me on that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I mean? You know? You know? Like you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You feel me? You know what I mean? Shout out! You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You feel me? You feel me? Then you know what I mean? You feel me? You feel me? But you feel me? You know? You know what I mean? You know? You know what I'm saying? You know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know? You know what I'm saying? You feel me on that? You know? You know? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So like you know? What was I thinking? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I mean. You know, you feel me. You know, you feel me on that. You feel me on that. You feel me. You feel me. You feel me. You feel me on that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know, you feel me. Like you know what I mean. Like you know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean. You know, that's cool. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. You feel me. You know what I'm saying. You feel me. What I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Wow. So that was an epic. That was enormous. Ricky Turkios supercut of you know what I'm saying. Feel me. You know what I mean. And. I didn't think anything could top that. It's been sitting in my, it's been <laughs> sitting in my little bank here for a minute, and then last week we had Shaggy on. <laughs> no, you think he did more? He dropped more. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, within and the this? first within the first five minutes, I was like, this might be a record breaking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Shaggy was dropping mad. You know what I'm saying? Mad crazy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Work. And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wavy shits, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm very competitive, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fucking breathe, you know what I'm saying? Panicking and shit, you know what I'm saying? 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 Wow, right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Of course. Look, daddy, you know what I'm saying? 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 I was like, wow, what a trooper, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's my beauty arm, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instagram shits, you know what I'm saying? Rich streaming shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? 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 Yeah. I'm good, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? This was only the first 15 minutes of the show. <laughs> so like, yes. picture that yes. six more times. And I can't believe it, and and I recognize it because this is the beginning of the interview. I remember this is when we first talked about his yeah, arm breaking yeah, yeah. and all that stuff. This is amazing. I These mean, are amazing. You know what I'm saying? And and I was just so I was so um, enthralled with these two. I didn't even acknowledge you know like they didn't even register. Yeah. Because I was just listening to him, and they're they're both so sweet and and real. Yeah. Oh, that was so funny. God, the you know God, the you know what I'm saying, man. I haven't had like a, we haven't done like a real deep dive on you know what I'm saying in a minute. We got to get back into it. Well, I think I, we just did. I forgot how much I enjoyed the you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Super. Are, yeah. <laughs> my favorite one is a I've not a job day in my life. You know what I'm saying? 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 That was probably my favorite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Suge Knight interview one. Yeah. In that jail, you know what I'm saying? Is that Suge? Well, uh, well it's a guy talking about, about Suge. Suge. Yeah, yeah. About, it's in, it's in like a life. death row documentary. He's like, I ain't never had a job <laughs> in my life. You know what I'm saying? But in that jail, you know what I'm saying? Did a little bit of everything. You know what I'm saying? Know, man, I'm like, you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. He doesn't say anything in these. The funny thing so. about death row <laughs> is that um, it's uh, Dr. Dre's song. I think it's "Fuck with Dre Day," where it start the song like it goes dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. He goes, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? He says, you know what I'm no, saying? No, no. He goes, hold on, hold on. He goes, I, I memorize yeah. it because I'm so enthralled. It goes, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> he says nothing. You know what I'm saying? He goes, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. we were listening to Snoop and Dre on the way in, mm -hmm. and I. Listen, I, at the hot of the hot, the height of my gothdom mm -hmm. is when Gin and Juice came out, and like at, even the goths represented on that album. Like they sure we, did. 
I memorized Everybody. that song because it was so, it, look, no matter who you were, you love gin and juice. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're on the West Coast, I don't know if everywhere else, it was the same phenomenon. But yeah. Wow, those two are just so talented, I forgot. They, um, they are very talented guys. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, and to the foe. Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Yeah. <laughs> Long like... Beach and Compton. Now you know you're in trouble. Oh, God. That, I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Um, we had dinner with Danny Brown a while ago and I was like Danny have you heard my rap song and he was like uh huh <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah I heard that shit <laughs> he's like one of the greatest rappers ever yeah, Danny uh, Brown he's like mm-hmm, yeah you should uh, it's out there that's, that was good um, <laughs> you know one of the things that's real we should talk about this is that I couldn't go a few weeks ago uh, to Bert's variety party yes but our staff went oh they did and listen i got a full report from nadav nadav is out sick today but uh listen i got a full report i got uh, uh, uh i got some intel on zolo as we all know the eaters in this crew are amazing okay yes. we have some outstanding eaters and he's really good with in and out he can wolf down what is it like four or five burgers in one sitting mm-hmm. nadav and his baby lafa he took that home and he in a febreze bag and ate that that was like a five pounder we've been sleeping on zolo yeah because josh zolo mm. is is the youngest of us all what are you 21 and you're the mightiest eater he can go hard anytime any place house that food now nadav gave me a full report and any that at this event that bert was being honored at he's like uh basically there wasn't a slider that zolo refused like the the sliders would come around those cheeseburger sliders and he would house four at one time and then pizza house house house. i didn't pay attention when we went we went to that steakhouse did you what did you eat that oh he's an eater I had a big steak, uh, filet, and then, uh, you know, all the appetizers and the sides and everything. So you yeah. went to town. Okay. Oh, yeah, man. And the desserts. We yeah. made him a dessert plate. That's right. And then Hell he yeah. ate all of it. But 21. I mean, he's 21. He, but look how tiny. Like, he's still, he doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. That right metabolism is in full gear, The metabolism. Metabolism is in sixth gear right now. <laughs> man, enjoy that shit, son. Yeah. Hell and yeah. And even when it slows down, just keep eating like that. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I mean, that's my favorite part of going to these events. You know, they're always bringing around food. plates of food. Do you Come show on. up hungry on purpose or no? You just show up wherever I you... mean, it was like a, it was like 6 p.m. So it was dinner time that's and like... I hadn't eaten. So I was like, fuck it. This yeah. is dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So I went to town and it and was good. What do you normally eat? Because when you're around us, we get rounded, well-rounded meals generally sent to the office. What are you eating for dinner? Uh, like tonight, you'll go home. What do you What do you get? Are you stopping at Taco Bell? Are you cooking? What's your meal? I, I love me some Taco Bell, but uh, I think I'm a pretty r- well-rounded eater for the most part. Like I eat like I try to eat relatively healthy and clean. What was it last night? What did you have for dinner? Uh, well, last night was a burger. Last yeah. night was a burger and fries. Yeah. Lies. Yeah. yeah. What kind of burger did you get? Um, I, I went to Johnny Rockets, oh, and so it was like the one. nice, like old, old style, like uh, I don't know, California burger. Yeah. Do you have a favorite burger? Because I, I think burgers might be my all-time favorite food. Yeah. <sighs> I think it's hard to beat In-N-Out. An In-N-Out oh, double-double yeah. animal style. Oh, I, I went When I was in Texas, I went to Whataburger. Yeah. A lot of people try to compare those two. Yeah. Whataburger is dog shit I yeah. compared to In-N-Out. When Sorry, I, um, Texas. I first said that online, man, I, I don't know, hate Whataburger. three or four years ago, and I got just annihilated by people. Yeah. And then... I thought maybe I got it wrong. I was like, man, maybe I had a bad one. Nah. And I went back nah. and got another it's one. Fucked mm-hmm. up, bro. It is fucking bullshit. I yeah. mean, it's it's good, but like the way like mm. Jack in the Box or Carl's Jr. is good. It's not it's, like uh, in and out. It's not notable at it's all. Not, not at all. Yeah. And they put too much mayonnaise on there. It's like a fucking well, Midwestern the bread sucks. mayonnaise burger. The bread sucks. The bread is part of the ingredient of yeah. a great burger. The bread is terrible. 100%. No, I would do In and Out. Uh, Shake Shack is fucking. That's definitely legit. up there. Point. Super uh, good. Yeah, but what a burger! I don't know why those fucking dum dums think it's uh, something special. It's the most bullshit <laughs> burger I've ever yeah, had. I yeah. don't get it at all. Oh, White Castle can suck my tits too. Yeah. White Castle was another disappointment when I was over um, in like Chicago. I had White Castle. Yeah, also Ew. dog shit. Not notable. <laughs> nope. No. You know the meat has to be fresh. 
and the bun has to be fresh. I feel like you know what it is though is that these fucking idiots that that think that Whataburger is something special, mm. they're just not exposed to to anything. They else. don't know any better. You know, it's like if you're fucking. If you're, I don't know, if you're in Croatia and you're like, yeah. you know what the best thing is? Uh, roasted flowers, yeah. you know, because like that's you know. what your grandma rock, makes. Rock yeah. soup, yeah. And you're like, <laughs> there's nothing better than grandma's rock soup. <laughs> then, yeah, that's what you, that's yes. all you eat. Of so course. you think it's the best thing ever. And then of you course. get out there a little more. You're like, oh, this is fucking hot diarrhea. <laughs> and, With and, mayonnaise on it. Yeah. Well, uh, but now shout out to Tejas. Their barbecue, the I best. think, is the best in the fucking nation. And I think, I'll say this, and this will upset other people, and I don't give a fuck. Go for it, Tom. I'd this much show rather, is controversial as heck. I'd much rather have barbecue in Texas yes. than in Kansas City. Same. I agree, yeah. Tom. Wow. Mm. Now, that is going to that is gonna oh, blow I know some it's minds gonna upset, open. It's going to upset people. But the only thing is... Wow. You just, you just threw down the goal. <laughs> here's what I'm saying. I travel for a living. Yeah, I go same, to these places. Same. I've had barbecue in Kansas City, so have I. in Memphis, in North Carolina, Alabama, I've Dreamland. Had I've had it in. Te- I prefer the Texas barbecue. So do I. Know I don't really like a dry rub. Isn't that yeah. what Kansas City is known for? The dry rub. I don't. Or St. Louis tits. I don't. Oh, that's another barbecue place. It's okay. Yeah. But I'm telling you, in Tejas, you order brisket, which oh is not my, my favorite. It's not brisket is usually dry pussy meat, but they make it so juicy. Yo, mm. it's like Rudy's. Get that shit. Get your life. Like in Austin, that shit is so tight, dude. Yeah. And the sides, if you can get some good sides. Yeah. Now that's the problem with a lot of barbecue in, in Tejas and everywhere, I'd say. If the sides are shit, everything else is shit. Like, why don't they focus on their sides? You can't just give me a slice of white bread and call that a side. Well, that's just supposed to sop it up. Sop up all that grease, you know? Yeah. But I want macaroni and cheese. I want green beans. You can get all that. I want some kick-ass slaw. Yeah, but they're not always superior. They don't always focus on the sides. Yeah. And that fucks up the whole game. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, Zolo is a competitive eater. Do you take huge dumps? I imagine your dumps are massive. Yeah, they can get pretty big. God, that 20 year old body is just... I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like they're solid? Yeah, I think they're pretty solid. Wow. Are you good one this morning? I was like, oh, that was nice. Are you so young and virile that like you can eat crap? Like you can get ripped beer and then go eat Taco Bell at two in the morning mm-hmm. and it doesn't even phase you. Like you just go to sleep, you wake up fine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah that's youth. Oh man. I'd it's be in the hospital right now. <laughs> <laughs> I almost am. I don't even know. I know. What, I what happened to you? I don't know. What'd you have last night? Oh, I had drinks. That may be alcohol, yeah. Yeah. And then you woke up, you had your egg whites, you had your bacon. Yeah, spinach. Spinach. I'm not doing well. You need, you know what, you need carbs. Yeah. You might need to eat like bread. Sop oh, up I got the, rice coming. Yeah, you need carbs when your stomach's sour like that. Mm. I'm getting this um, fucking thing off today. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. I'm I getting can't this thing off. wait. Can I tell you, there's nothing better when I'm you. I'm having chest pain. <laughs> yeah. When you go to the doctor and they're like, you can walk in a new thing uh, now. Or you can get the fucking. You've, this mitt has been on you for three weeks. I can't wait. Your little mitten. Can't wait. God damn. I can't wait for you, homie. I'm so stoked. It's gonna you be think great. you're going to get the mitt off for real, though? This is coming off. And then you can, like, just have an arm for well, a minute? Well, I'll have a brace on, some type of brace. It's like a smaller. Dude, it's, it's like but not changing. not like a sling or anything. You know? Can I tell you in retrospect, those six weeks where I had to scoot scoot, yeah, were fucking so sad. Yeah, like not being able to walk for six weeks was just so depressed. By the fourth week, I was really depressed. I didn't like it. Yeah, but not being able to walk is ugh. I'm over it. But I'm I'm getting back. I'm rehabbing. Did you know that companies around the world produce two billion? pounds of new plastic every day. Yet no matter how much we put in our recycling bin, just 9% of plastic actually gets recycled. At Grove Collaborative, they believe it's time to stop making single-use plastic. Grove is the online marketplace that delivers healthy home beauty and personal care products directly to you. I always get stuff delivered to the house and with Grove, I can feel good about my choices that I make. We love their laundry detergent because you use just a little and it goes such a long way. And you know that you're helping the environment um, and not creating more waste. Choosing products that are better for you and the planet has never been easier. For a limited time, when my listeners go to grove.com slash mom, you will get to choose a free starter set with your first order. Go to grove.com slash mom to get your exclusive offer. That's grove, 
dot com slash mom. We are supported by Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I have built several websites myself using Squarespace. Hell, I even taught my 74 year old dad how to make a website using Squarespace. That's just how easy it is. Do we know HTML? No, no need. You don't have to know coding. It's so intuitive. I like the templates because they're clean uh, and they're, they have templates for almost any business need that you can have. Are you a restaurant? Boom, they got that template. Are you an engineer? Boom, they got that template. I don't know. They have it all. Maybe you want to make uh, you know, some uh, website to celebrate the birth of your baby, share pictures, your marriage, whatever. They have analytics that help you grow in real time, built in search and engine optimization, free and secure hosting, and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. 24-7 award-winning customer support. Go to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Um, so also in staff news, you didn't get to see these Instagram No, posts. I want to know all oh about my God. this. You told me and I'm like, what the fuck is so happening? So you've been out of the loop on this. So lunchtime discussions and on where my mom's at as well. I love to get personal with the booth boys. I like to get to know their lives, what's going on. Uh, Chris Larson's been the focus here and there on where my mom's at too. Mm. He's been he's been living with a rat and the rat has since uh, disappeared. So what? now that storyline has come and gone. And really, I love Chris. I think he's just such a sensational guy. He is great. Guy. He's a great, great person. He's definitely the most dedicated worker. Such a good employee. Beautiful hair. Beautiful hair. Great jacket. And also cooks for himself. Cooks for himself. Takes good care of himself. He's a high quality human. And he's arguably the most normal, emotionally balanced of all of us. When we look to somebody like, hey, Chris, what's the normal response? He often has that response. Mm -hmm. So. I've wanted to get the other boys help, Zolo, Eni, um, Nadav, because they're on the social media, you know, they uh, at least for sure Nadav is dating on there, to help Chris find a lady. So the boys have been pressuring him to make social media posts at least once a month, because he's, what, what's his, um, what's your uh, Instagram, Chris? It's at C-E-E -E underscore L-A-R-S at C Lars. Okay. Okay. Now, Chris, so the boys have and now been... Now, they are put... Now, it's clear, it, what has been made clear to me, they push him to make these posts. Mm -hmm. They're like, you need to make a post. Because, like... That is correct. Cause... <laughs> so you reluctantly do these? Yes, I do. <laughs> Can we start with the first one? Can I see what's going on You're with this gonna one? You're going to die. Okay. It, it, oh, my God. Hey, guys. The guys at the office won't stop pounding me about posting to Instagram stories, so I'm going to now do a once-a-month post just for them. See you in July. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the so, first one. So you'll see, like, I've encouraged it. You can see I put a million applause there. Like, I'm yes. really all for Chris I saw that. Yes. getting on socials. He needs to okay. get laid. So that's hey the guys, first one. Hey, guys at the office. Let's see. So they won't stop pounding me at work to make the next post. So here's my next post. See you in August. <laughs> yes. Is it, is this going to be your series? Like every month you'll be like, ah, I'll see you next month. Yeah, at least for the short term until I lose, like, uh, uh, I guess just I just get broken by it or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know that by putting this on, you're going to get a lot more followers now, right? Yeah, my parents think it's hilarious. They're like, you have no, you follow nobody, and you have five thousand comments on a video so your parents are are on instagram oh yeah oh and <laughs> <laughs> all right let's leave them out of this we don't want anything to happen to no, them let's um, leave them out but so what do they think of your social media presence um i mean it's pretty non-existent for the most part right apart, apart from this in, these instagram posts um but yeah they're they're all for it um they're really excited about what you guys are doing like, what kind of DMs are you looking for? Do you want like puss pics, um, a holes? Like do this you is want, what I'm talking about. What 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 is like your preference? Puss pics, Tom. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't want puss pics. You don't know. Sweet, Larson's sweet. 
<laughs> you God. Legs wide open. He does not want legs wide open and asshole pics. I mean, maybe he does, but he's not going to he say does. it. Well, this is a good time. Share with your boy, Tommy. What's up? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, you're not going to get really a response if that's what you sent me. Just Jake? Yeah. So if you send uh, Chris Larson your puss pic. Can't stand him. He doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, let's let's go through this because I think you're a high quality individual. What are what are you looking for? What? How can we help you find this woman? I mean, right now, I'm really just waiting until the move um, to but, Austin. So, yeah. so maybe an Austin based Austin based ladies. It's not too far off into the you know future here. Austin based are in the Austin area. How far out? So, like how many miles are you willing to travel? I mean, I don't really know what the distance between Austin and other places. You don't are. want to travel far. Don't so, put out a big distance thing. I wouldn't say outside of Austin. No proper. I wouldn't yeah. probably mess with. And like who, what are you looking for? What kind of a lady excites you? Um, I, you know, I, a lady that, you know, is, she likes to do shit, but also doesn't too because mm. i get i get really fucking lazy um so i kind of need someone who can chill can chill but also will get me off my ass a little bit because somebody I, who has a similar philosophy to you probably would work right well yeah i think a similar philosophy is good in most relationships yeah. um work hard play hard yeah live life 365 <laughs> So like the girl who is 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 like, well, I wake up at 6 a.m. and then I, I jog around the green belt and then I go and then I, I feed orphans in the park <laughs> and then I go and I do this activity. And this, like that's probably not the girl for you. You, no, you, you are so active. Much. You you've told me because I was like, Chris, you're definitely going to be one of these shirtless jogger guys. And you're like, oh, for sure. I didn't say shirtless jogger guys. I said kayaker maybe, but not a jogger. He's going to be a kayaker. So you you believe in like moderate fun activities you like going yeah. out to dinner are you a dinner guy oh yeah i love i love food food's one of my big things i love cooking it i love trying new things as long as they're like i can things i can eat for the most part but yeah and what are your deal breakers what what are you just no no um she has to i guess be a little self-aware like i've talked to uh i've had some bad dates where they're just like like i don't apologize to anybody because Ooh. i um i always think about what i'm saying before i say it i'm like that just means you have a problem admitting yeah. when you're wrong yeah okay. yeah so like things that are like like that like I, I that's a turn off for me like if you can't recognize when like when when if you can't recognize that you're in the wrong sometimes then that's going to be a problem but like i understand that like i'm in the wrong too like it's no one's perfect right. i don't expect perfection um, but, but don't be completely self awareness is important if you don't have self awareness. Take it easy, fuckhead. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, right? Yeah, and also just being responsible. Like I, I don't want to have to take care of you necessarily. Like you can manage on your own. I don't want to have to manage everything for you. Sounds like you had to do that before. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about tits? Are you in the tits or ass? What's your jam? I mean, what guy doesn't like tits? But <laughs> no, some guys like hungry tits and a big ass. Like you know, some guys are butt guys, some guys are tit guys, right? Mm. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I can, <laughs> I can handle either. Um, but yeah. What do you prefer? Are you, are you tits or ass? I mean, what's your jam? I'm. I would probably be more of a tits guy over an ass guy, but I you know. know it. I knew it. And then um, blondes, brunettes. What what are we into? What's the color of the hair? What do you what do you what makes your dick hard? You know. <laughs> um. Yeah, I would say. Uh, yeah, like darker hair probably is more my jam than okay. lighter hair. Okay. Um. But yeah, just I guess the less alike I am to them, you know, like I don't want like a blonde, blue eyed, you know, I don't know what what do we want to call that. Um. And do you approve? I approve meetings? juice. Do you do you care about dating outside your religious background? Um, that's not a deal breaker, but I do see that as probably going to be an issue for some people because you know, I mean, kind of have to agree on certain things. Like, if you have kids, are you going to get them baptized? Are you going to have them yes. be Jewish? I don't know. D depends on how religious that person is, I suppose. What if morning, noon, and night they say the N word? Is that a deal breaker? That might be a deal breaker okay. for me. Right. Uh, <laughs> just, you you got to put these things out. It's there. just it's just going to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> Even if you are black, okay. it's still going to make me uncomfortable. Okay. What about a doll collection? You're not gonna. Nah. <laughs> you, you... How big a doll collection are we talking here? 
You like women, um, Asian descent, African American, yes, the, Indians. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we got your flaves. I'm put, putting it out there, dude. It's gonna happen. Now, Zolo, uh, Any, Nadav, I'm putting you guys in charge of going through these DMs. Yep. And I want a full <laughs> That's report. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Because he's report. not gonna do it. He Trust even, me, we've been trying. Yeah, he's Larson not even gonna look at them. Is ready, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Larson is ready. <laughs> I'm looking for girls for pussy. So, send in your resumes. Don't send butthole pics. We no. we just learned that he's the one guy that doesn't want those. So you know I'm gonna get a bunch of those now, right? <laughs> Butthole pics. And you will forward them to your boss. <laughs> now. <laughs> really? Butthole? Sure. Over vag? Both. Send both. The Ugh. fuck? Don't hold on to those. Damn. Yeah. Having their pussies licked. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> These soundboards are just getting fucking light worse over yeah. the years. They're just degenerate soundboards. Chris is ready. <laughs> Chris is ready. Can I tell you, like, I feel like he's... Come on, show me that you like me. <laughs> he's just a lion waiting to be awoken. Oh, my God. You know God. what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? just wants a little bit of pressure on his prostate and wakes him right up. That's right. I feel like he just needs the right woman to it, it wake him up. And be that lady. Be that girl. Get him. Get that Don't be stingy. Yeah, yeah, get his feathers flying, you know? Yeah, yeah I'm excited for he him. He needs those dick touches. Everybody needs dick and dick and V touches. Sure. It keeps you alive. Um, you got to touch your D and your V. <laughs> and will you be sending D pics to these ladies in return? Oh. There's no way I'm putting my dick online. <laughs> <laughs> in any context. No? Yeah. Uh, but people do. Josh, oh. have you sent your D out into the world? No, no. I haven't. Smart. For a 21-year-old, I'm yeah. blown away. Yeah. Really hey, crazy. Josh and I, we've some very, he's got like 45-year-old uh, opinions on stuff. He agree, We see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. And my opinions are very old school, I will admit, on yeah. certain things. And he's like, yep. Separate yeah. neighborhoods. Separate, separate water fountains. fountains. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Um <laughs> What about Zane? He sends dick, dick pics? Hell no. I don't know. Zane's yeah. a vegetarian. He says he has no. He has not. No wow. No dick pics for me. Wow, very very impressed with his staff. Zane is so All I heard about is, is that everybody now sends dick pics. You know? Oh, well, that's all I hear is that it's dick city out there yeah. in the world. You know what's so funny about Zane is that we'll be talking crazy shit during lunch, and his head is just down and into the phone. He's like, yep. nope. Yep. Like Zane is just not having. Not it. I'm just taking everything in. Are you? Yeah. What, is it that you're overwhelmed, or you're just like, I, I don't even want to get involved. Like, <laughs> these people are out of their minds. Like, what's going? What's happening to you? Um, no, I've I've worked with uh, Nadav long enough. Um, so <laughs> I'm I'm I I came in, you know, ready. Aware. Yeah, yeah. you're ready. You knew that what it's like here. Yeah, and any <laughs> I was working with both oh. of them, so I was. So you know, you know, yeah, you know, different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't you don't talk like that in your in your life, where you just have like crazy you don't say crazy shit to your friends. Um, I, that's a it, no. I guess it's that's a, a no. spectrum. Not not as crazy as they do, but yeah. Well, I got something pretty cool to show yeah, you. Yeah, let's see it. Do you remember a few <laughs> weeks, maybe like a month and a half ago or so, maybe two months ago? Uh, this. He's hey, giving me a ticket for just... stunting because he heard me yelling at someone on my phone. And then I fingered him on the way out of okay. there and told him to mind his business, and he's pulling me over for stunting again. I feel like driving away and starting a high-speed chase. This is over-policing. Yes, sir, sir, sir. Just let me put you on hold for Notice? one second. No. I was not, this guy. I wasn't oh. here for this. Oh, there, I'm on the, the whole phone, thing. you fucking boss, you dick. <laughs> okay. I don't understand what stunting and fingering. So stunting, I mean, here in the United States, that's what, you know, the hot boys like. Lil Wayne and Big right, Baby, but I guess in stunting in Canada has a different, is that like loitering or something? Or? No, it, it's doing anything on the road that could distract another driver. Okay, so it's a- Stunting. Stunt, <laughs> stunt like your daddy. But uh, okay, so he's that's the Canadian term for doing something distracting, I guess, on the road, okay? There's another officer on the way to talk to you, okay? Yeah, you this guy can this. fuck right off. And he, this ticket he can shove up his fucking uh, ass. You can stay okay. on the phone with You're me until the other here. officer gets here to defuse the situation. I no longer feel safe because of the little bitch behind me. 
pulls me over. I was at a complete stop when we were leaving him pulling us over. And complete stop and I fingered him and hurt his feelings again. Well, fuck him and his feelings. It's not illegal to finger a police officer. It's not illegal to call him a fucking faggot. This guy's pretty cool. I right. love this guy so much. Oh, keep, keep watching. God. And I'm crumpling up his ticket. You hear that? See your ticket, you fuck? <laughs> Crumpled up. I throw it on the ground, but you'd give me a fucking ticket for littering. Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not Sorry. mad at you at all. You've, you've been That's very okay. professional That's and okay. stuff. But that little worm behind me deserves a fucking foot in the ass. I'm waiting for your boss to call me. Fuck off and get in your car. <laughs> You're a fucking little bitch. Give me my ticket and go fuck yourself, goofball <laughs> fucking faggot. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck off, you bitch. That's crazy. Just talking to a cop. You're a fucking clown. Right. It's not over yet. Only in Canada can you get away with that shit. Oh, can you? Do He's got shit. his gun on me now. The RCMP <gasps> officer has his gun on me now. Uh, Listen to him. He's fucking know, hitting. He's hitting my fucking out. truck now. Oh, he's breaking oh, my window. Holy fuck! Get, 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 oh, get, 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 get a memory here. Assaulting a police officer. Get a memory here. Holy fuck! Help me! Help me! I won't send. Send somebody now, please. Holy fuck! Send a fucking gun on my husband. He's tripping balls. Send someone now. He's tripping balls. Help me! Holy fuck! Help me! What are you doing? I like that they're like, what are you doing? We've been We've behaving been rationally. Yeah, you idiot. He's tripping balls. <laughs> He's not tripping balls. You know what so, I love more than anything is you can fuck right off. Yeah. That is so Canadian. Fuck right off. Yep. God, I love that. It's I'm going to start great. saying that. It's, um, you can fuck right off, eh? Yeah. It's not illegal to call them a fucking faggot. <laughs> okay. So is, is it we had, we had so that? many questions. <laughs> and guess what? What? We have an update. No. Yeah. You could fuck right off. Hey, everybody. Mike Lutkin here. Fresh out of jail. <laughs> Had an RCMP officer pull a gun on me today. Yeah, well. I got pulled over uh, twice within 10 minutes for stunting, for calling a cop a few derogatory names, but believe me, he deserved those names. Yeah. This cop gave me a second stunting ticket. Uh, all I did was call him a faggot. <laughs> So then I went to pull away from that, and he said I brushed up against him. I rolled my window down, and I said, fuck you, I did, you fucking piece of shit. I didn't touch you, you fucker. You walked into it. Yeah. And then I drove away. Yeah, I stopped I at the stop sign. A block later, he pulls me over. I go to roll my window down. He had his gun out. He's pointing his gun at me, beating on my fucking truck. Like, seriously? For calling him a name? Mm. So then I got charged with assaulting a police officer with a deadly weapon, which is my truck, because apparently he walked into it as I was driving away. <laughs> I've never assaulted anyone in my fucking life. Um. I'm a bit of a big mouth and a bit of an asshole. But yeah, uh, don't yell on your phones in the presence of a police officer oh, or you'll did. get a stunting ticket. And when you tell him to fuck off for it, you'll get a second stunting ticket. Duh. And when you tell them to fuck off after the second something ticket, you're going to get a gun pointed at you. Yeah. I like how the message here is like, they're just not fair, these cops. <laughs> you know? Well, <laughs> it's these... not that I'm out of my mind angry right now. Well, the, all these guys, it's never their fault. Yeah. Uh, ask all these guys in jail. It's, it's, they never yeah. did anything wrong. Everyone in jail is like, I'm innocent. Of course. And yeah. so is he. He just called an officer a faggot and then, uh, what is he, flipping the bird aggressively. <laughs> Could you imagine doing that to an LAPD? At least he has no some self awareness. He's like, I'm a bit of a big mouth and a bit of an asshole. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just a little bit. What is wrong yeah. with this guy? I'm a bit of a big mouth and a bit of an asshole. A big mouth? A big asshole. A asshole. Yeah. A bit of a big mouth. You fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> to a cop. How to do you think it's going to go? With, I don't know. That's always been obvious to me that like cops will not respond well. Me too. I mean, my stepdad would pick fights with other people, civilians, but never a cop. Like he even no. knew, uh, you don't fuck with cops, bro. Like it's not a good idea. Avoid police. Yeah. yeah. All I did was call him a faggot. <laughs> That's all's 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 I did. 
all I did. All I did. You can fuck right off, eh? Yeah. All I. He did. was so angry. Yeah. When when he was getting pulled over. Yeah. God damn. Something tells me he's taking it out on the wrong person. Yeah. I mean, there's some dad issues, authority issues. Can you imagine, though, being a cop and having to deal with these fucking wankers all day? You know. That's all you're dealing with are mentally ill people. And now you know, like now. Jesus. That guy is like, fuck, I'm dealing with a f- assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer charge. Like, I got to deal with that now. I know. And I wonder what it's you like You want to talk about Canada. getting fucked? Like, that's a big fuck you charge. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. If uh, all that cop has to do is tell that story to the you know district attorney or whatever they have there, and it's like, oh boy, you're gonna have a really long fucking year, man. I know <laughs> it's gonna suck so bad. I wonder if they're tougher on this stuff than we are. They must be in Canada. No? If you do that to a cop here, it's not gonna be chill. It's gonna be no. really bad for you. Yeah, really bad. I don't I know nothing about the legal system. There. Um, speaking of, holy shit! I want to show you this. Oh my god. I just called the cop a faggot and flipped him the bird. <laughs> Look at this and tell me how amazed you are. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm amazed. I got to see this before we rolled. Okay, let me see. All right, just keep an eye on this screen. Oh, Wait, shit. oh. <laughs> My bad. That's not what I meant to it's show you. It's still pretty incredible. <laughs> That's that kid's so in a wheelchair. I know. He said he went, "Oh shit." And he's like, "Oh, I can't break my neck anymore, I guess." Um, <laughs> Yo. Oh, shit. Yo. Fuck. That made my asshole pucker. Same, bro. I was looking for. That kid should not be skating anymore. I think once you've already lost your legs, you should stop. Stop while you're ahead, dude. You just lost your arms. God. And your neck. You, you're lucky you have a neck. What's the one? Yes. Is that what it's called? Do oh. jumps? Yes. Oh, this God one. bless the skateboarders. This is the one. Are you ready for this? Okay. This is so unfucking believable. Okay. I can't believe You're it. You're scaring me. <gasps> Wait. I can see it again. You fucking high. Look how high up he is. One, two, there's two floors. Three. He's on the third story. He's on the third Look, floor. Look, he just got up. And he, jo- he landed on the concrete or the but- grass? But no, who cares it's, where it's he landed? wild as fuck. He like, yo, how? 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 Look at that game. <laughs> how? <laughs> Trying to make it make sense. Trying to make it make sense, bro. <laughs> bro, this he guy like, jumped off wow. out of the third story wind. Like, Amazing. We saw rain boots break his whole body. <laughs> jumping from like I 10 feet. This dude lands on his... L- how? That's right. Look, so he's got his... Hanging out the... <laughs> Third floor lands on his, grass, feet, on his feet, falls to his ass. He's up, picks up his shit, he's and up. hauls ass. Amazing. This guy's a fucking. He like you. How? 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 Look at that game. <laughs> Trying to make that make sense. <laughs> Trying to make it make sense. Trying to make sense. it make sense, bro. You should don't make sense. You're like how? Bro? Third story jump. Are bananas. you fucking kidding me? Bananas. He was fine. He didn't even go like, oh, let me sit here for a second, let this. This pain that's searing through my ankle and knees. No. Just popped up. That That is just exhibit A. Black people are better at <laughs> I mean, Babe. that's it. That's what I would show yeah, in court. I'd be like, down. can I show you this real quick? <laughs> this guy jumped out of a third story window and just popped up and went for a jog. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It is pretty wild. And we don't even know if that guy's like 35. I know. <laughs> like how old? might not even be a kid. He's got to be a kid. God There's damn. There's no way you could do that. Are you 35. blown away by that? Yeah. It's insane. Totally. It's wild, dude. Oh, my It's wild. God. And he picked up his shit, too. He was like, well, got to yeah, get my bag. My, my bag and just jog on out of here. Nuts, bro. Amazing. I was amazed Nuts. by that. I had to watch it over and over. I'm like, how is he okay? How is he okay? That's just different different strokes for different. I mean, that's different. how some people, yeah. you know, break their necks. Some people. I know. Different. Different. Yeah. yeah. When that video first came in, I thought it was a much different type of video. I thought it yeah. was one of those uh, death videos. Like yeah. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> I thought we were just going to see somebody jump and then, like the rain boot guy, be <laughs> like, ah, just lay there with broken limbs. Yeah. Not or, pop up and yeah. jog away. <laughs> exactly. The rain boot guy. 
<laughs> makes me laugh so hard it's so it's such a choice to jump in those boots that's like, consistent why would by the you way do that? of because i keep showing why it would to you do everybody that? that sits on the couch <laughs> consistently as people going like ah! like they all kind of just are jarring <laughs> <laughs> but so it makes me by. laugh so hard like, i know it's the outfit the choice of the the boots and then like bro what did you think was going to happen yo bend yes. your legs homie like yeah. bend your legs yeah why'd you why'd you jump straight legged yeah you know? dipshit bend your knees okay look let's see how he falls let's see how he falls yeah because he there's got to be well, his something knees, to this his knees don't don't go straight no fuck no so he, bend, and then he falls to his ass you know right so what but he falls on the grass so he's he's halfway out the window he jumps down that, yeah so he falls he goes, on his ass but he goes feet to ass right very quickly feet to ass yeah yeah it's feet to ass feet he to ass so far and then he breaks like he's it is so far it's fucking crazy he's young he's got to be young there's no way yeah he could be a teenager he, but he could be in his 20s i don't know how old he is fuck dude it's, it's incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. I want to send story window. I'm going to send this to my doctor and be like, yo. <laughs> How's this possible? Check this out. He jumps out. Now, I will say I read in a book a long time ago, if you're going to jump out of a window, always jump out and down. Don't just fall out because you'll go back in into the building why would you so go back into the building gravity how physics work physics doesn't work you like have that. to push yourself out and then so you'll go out and down you may just fall in towards the building uh it's true i read it in a survival book okay. many years ago going online without express vpn is like using your smartphone without a protective case oh no most of the time, you'll probably be fine, but all it takes is one accidental drop into, uh, you know, solid concrete or water to make you wish you had protected yourself. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, airports, etc., your online data is not secured. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data, all your passwords, all your financial details, all that stuff. So why not just use ExpressVPN? It's so easy. Uh, you just fire up the app and you click one button and all of a sudden you are protected. It works on all your devices, your phones, your laptops, your tablets, and more. So you can stay secure on the go. It is so easy to use. I use it myself to uh, to watch Netflix in the UK because I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, historical dramas. <laughs> Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash your mom. That's E X P R E S S V P N.com slash your mom. And you can get an extra three months free expressvpn.com slash your mom. Oh, jeans. Summer's coming to an end and the leaves are about to fall. While Mother Nature does her thing to prepare for the new season, you could do yours by seeing how much you could save on home and auto insurance. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find home and auto coverage similar to what you have now, but at a lower price. They've saved customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. They've saved new customers an average of $435 per year on auto insurance, and they've saved New customers, an average of $350 per year on home insurance. Come on, try it out. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius team can help you look for ways to save more, including bundling your home and auto policies. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. You need to fucking hug me. Why do you need a hug, man? You doing, you doing okay? I feel I apologize for being a jerk. It's all right. I'm not mad at you. I wanted to hug you. You yeah. little snot. Right. I wanted to give you a hug, you snot. Just give a guy a right, hug. I don't want a fucking one. hug from you. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Are you serious? Right, I don't want a hug from a random drunk guy on the street. <laughs> Smart kid. Yep. And that's what you got to teach your kids. Don't fucking... Hug drunk, got crackheads on the street. No. Speaking of important things. <laughs> Fuck your feelings, huh? You know, we were remembering the Cincinnati fart, which is, um, 
<laughs> one of the most historical YMH coming up on uh, six years ago. Important event. Yes, I was six pregnant with Six years ago, Ellis. this month, and <laughs> and uh, we got this clip in about when they're at the hotel. No, asking about it. <gasps> no, yeah, at check in. There's a room here. There's like a famous room. Um, I've heard about it, but I don't know what room it is. I think it's like. Cincinnati fart happened. What? Cincinnati fart? Yeah, I, I was told like one time about it, but I don't know what room it is. Really? Is it when you get hired here, do they like let you, they fill you in on it? Is it is it like a thing? No, not when I got hired. I've been here since February. I just found out like two weeks ago. The Cincinnati fart? Yeah. Yeah, it's from Gavin. You know he's doing that thing. What is that called? You know, um, I feel like Kevin Nealon made it the most famous. A subliminal guy. Yeah, subliminal guy. But like he's going, he's going Cincinnati fart, and she's like, yeah. And she's like, she's not <laughs> registering what he's saying, but she's like, mm hmm. You know, she doesn't hearing the words, but he's getting it out. Cincinnati fart. Cincinnati fart. She's heart. like, yeah, mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Again, is this a conspiracy theory? I don't know. But <laughs> they know. They know. She's like, she's like, yeah, they didn't fill me in, but I know you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's on the pamphlet. It's in all the tourist brochures. You in see Cincinnati. those buses, they drive by, and they're like, this is the famous Renaissance Hotel where the Cincinnati fart happened. <laughs> Christina P. <laughs> was five months pregnant with her first son, Ellis, yeah, yeah. and ate from a buffet. Yep. Out on the river. Out on the river. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, I, want, I would like to, Yana, take credit, get some credit. Mm -hmm. We were ordering room service. And I we ordered the grilled artichokes, and I asked if you dared me to say the grilled fartichokes, yeah. and I did, and she didn't even, didn't even. Some it's a similar kind of thing of the subliminal bat and eyelash. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You just say it, and then people are like, "I get." There's no way she could have said fartichokes. And yeah, yeah, fartichoke, grilled fartichokes. Yeah. Nobody even fucking questioned. I it. did this to my uh, uncle when I was a teenager, where at one time I. <laughs> I go, I, um, my Uncle Dave, I go, oh, yeah, my, uh, he's like, are you okay? I was like, oh, my Illing is doing. And he was like, what? <laughs> and I go, my Illing is doing? And he was like, hmm, yeah. Let's see if we got some medicine or something. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't think a medicine will help. I just feel like my Illing is doing. And he was like, well, I could call a doctor or something. And I was saying my Illing is doing, which is not. It's nothing. Nothing. But he had a full like two minute conversation <laughs> with me about it. And then I told my mom about it. And then she sat and watched me talk to him more about it. And she just laughed and laughed. But it's like people, I don't know what our reluctance to, to say, like, I don't know what I you're saying. I don't understand. Yeah. So he just, what well, he just kept talking to me about it. He's like, yeah, I had something like that one time. Yeah. It's you know what people don't admit to being ignorant. Yeah. Like, okay. So, um, well, it's kind of like my method man story where I was embarrassed to keep saying what, yeah, after the third time, right? Because he you said something, ask. and I, he was he repeated it, and then I was like, I don't know what you're saying. It's like people's names. You can't yeah, ask. Yeah, but I just went time. like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. So maybe they're not hearing properly, and they don't want to ask what. Yeah. Um. So Eric Lundy, shout out to Eric Hollowleg Comics mm -hmm. Instagram. He does the weekly posters on my feed. Anyway, uh, we worked with a guy, and we were fucking with him because he was like a real corporate guy where he would just repeat. You know, put a pin in it. Let's circle back and circle yeah. the wagons. Like he was just one of those guys that love those corporate yeah. phrases. Yeah. So Eric, one time to fuck with him, was showing him a piece of art that he had made for some graphic or whatever. And he goes, "So you know, you're gonna." His name is Bill. This guy. He goes, "So Bill, you're gonna look and and um, you're gonna look at the diminutive space in this, and this is the diminutive space, and that's clearly not. It's not a word. Not a word. And then Bill." later on in a meeting was like and see you've got the diminutive space here like he fucking said oh, it. oh yeah he parroted it yeah. it was epic and like eric and i have talked about this for 15 years did anyone say anything thing. no no that's yeah. the thing is that because you, like remember, remember the first time you heard the word impactful you were kind of like did i that doesn't sound like a word no it's i gotta not a word. i gotta disagree with you on that because i remember saying impactful to you and you telling me that's not, not a, a word, word. And I became a word later. It yeah, wasn't I, in the lexicon at first. No. Yeah, I, I um, I've word. always held on to the fact that I thought you were R worded about that. <sighs> nope. Yeah. yeah go that, ahead, that's Google. A, go that's ahead and Google. That's a impactful. many years kind of thing. Okay, impactful originally 
It's a it's a corporate word. I don't it none of that adds up. Became a word. I think this is all in your head. Nope. Yeah. Impactful. I mean, impactful sounds like. It just became a fucking word, bro. Okay. This shit was not in the lexicon ten years. Really? Ago. Yeah. It's some fucking idiot just I can't, started I can't saying read it. it. Is impactful a word? See the fact that that's even a question. In the 1960s, so before you were born, it emerged as Some a word. Some critics reject impactful as an illogical, unnecessary, and clumsy piece of jargon. Scroll up. Mm -hmm. Scroll up. Yes, impactful is a word, but it's likely to annoy at least one of your readers. There you go. If you want to substitute the word for impactful, use a synonym such as yeah. influential, powerful, or but effective. Here's the so, thing. It's one of those things that has never struck me as... It never struck me as anything other than... It's redundant. To me, it sounds redundant. It sounds like, okay, it ha if something has an impact, you say, well, that, that had a huge impact. Or it was impactful. An impact full, full of impact. Yeah. It sounds redundant to me. Like, well, okay. it had an impact. How much Has more it struck you as that, that way, that word? I hate that fucking never. word. It's, just always, it's always oh, bothered her. It makes me crazy. Because I remember a I decade ago... More saying impactful and her being not like, not a word. What? That's not a word. No, it's not like, a word. Okay. It's a corporate. It's one of these bullshit corporate words that I fucking they made up. And then now you think it's a real word. That shit just came out. It didn't I'm just come out. You. It just said emerged in the 60s. It's not true. It came later than that. You got to no, look at different articles. But you're not reading the articles I'm reading. It's a conspiracy. I'm telling you right now, homie. That's over 60 years ago. Nah. I didn't. I tell you, I read a lot of books. When I was in Doesn't college, matter. the word impactful never happened. It's not a real word. It's a corporate dog shit word. Chris Larson? I think it's a word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Chris, Chris, what did you major in? You didn't, what, what, science or something. You didn't, yeah, yeah, not linguistics, but yeah. I mean, yeah, I, 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 mean yeah. I think we all know that it's a word. It's, yeah. It's, it's a corporate made up word. That was an impactful hey, speech. Or it, did it fall out? Oh no! Sorry. Okay. Um, I, it's not a word, guys. It's it's a, it's a. I hate it. Yeah. This it's is like, this it's like is circle a, back. Put a pin in it. No, it's not. It's not like circle back or it's put a, a pin 100% in it. Hundred percent. Like it's it. not. Guys, go ahead and email your mom's podcast at gmail dot com if you think impactful's not a real word like me. And let's 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 hear what the listeners. Do you realize the what the? Say. Do you realize how stupid they all think you are? I know what you're gonna say. Do you realize how dumb you're going to sound? Well, you're comparing circle say, back to impactful or put a pin in it. Like There's an article I read that impactful is a fucking corporate non-word. Okay. Yes, it's true. I read it in like the New Yorker like a fucking decade ago. There were articles written about how the word just came to be. It's not It's not a real word. Okay? All it's not right. It's fucking Webster's. It is now because everybody started using it. Like <laughs> bling bling. It's like bling it bling. It is not like bling bling. Bling bling's bling. not a fucking word. And then, you know, no. the housewives start saying bling bling. No, no. You're a, talking about a, slang from a rap song? <laughs> impactful. It's corporate slang, impactful. It's still know. slang. I don't know where you're getting this. I yeah. don't know what happened in your youth where <laughs> impacts were made to... Fucking hate that word. What's a word that you hate? It's definitely <laughs> not impactful. There's a, I hate the word moist. That's, I've, I've heard that so much and I've never understood it. I never understood like, why people are bothered by this it. This cake is so moist. You're like, oh. why is it go? Oh, why? It just doesn't sound like a good word. I don't enjoy the sound. It sounds That's like it's a great descriptor though. Like moist pussy. I don't like it. Which is the best kind of pussy? To <laughs> what do you want? A dry pussy? I like a dry pussy or a moist. This cake is drier than a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Nah. Nah. Mm. Nah. Mm. I like that you're upset that i don't like the word impact i'm not upset that you don't like the word impactful i'm mocking and laughing at the fact that your illogical take on the word is it's nonsense not if you do your research you'll notice there's an article written i remember i read it you know if i do my research i'll find some article that you read i don't know your, what kind of you're shit gonna that find is this conspiracy article you just you haven't read the right articles tom this is what we're talking about you just haven't read the right literature let me educate you on the, on the, on the literature Mm -hmm. well, the first thing that came up was that this word's been around for 60 years mm. and you're like oh, that's not a word well okay then let's look at it that i just say that 60 years is still not a new okay. word okay it did, i mean sure it's not i mean around. it didn't start in yield it's not fucking times. bling bling or put a pin in it hating a word doesn't make it less real 
which means that people hate it. <laughs> Scroll up. So let's look at the history. Maybe it'll have a genealogy. Can you please uh, scroll up? I can't. Yeah. Oh, it's also accused of being, well, this says it's face. But this is fake news. Mark Lieberman pointed out in language log, the word was first used in 1950s, 60s, in context dealing with political theory, literary criticism, and clinical psychology before expanding into fashion and into the arts. By the early 1970s, it was being used in major media outlets, especially in arts and music. And it's not the term migrated business and marketing jargon later. In current use, Lieberman finds it most in sports writing, but also in writing. About, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Another complaint basically le I'm, I'm, levied I'm right. at Impactful is that it's not a well-formed word. Full means full of. Impact does not mean full of impact. Um, but full doesn't only mean full of it also means among other things characterized by as in playful and tasteful people are also object to impactful on the basis of its occupancy of a space already filled by other words words like impressive effective and affecting can all be used in various contexts to do the job that impactful does but since when does english like to limit itself synonyms abound and most of them avoid the opprobrium that impactful endures. Mm. All right, I, I'm bored. Well, yeah, me too, because you're actually potato, spewing nonsense to potato. us. Potato, Basically, he's saying, you may not like the way it sounds, but it's a commonly used word and therefore is a word. That is his argument. It doesn't necessarily... What this, re what this really boils down to is that you just have beef with the word impactful. That's right. I fucking hate it. Okay, but all your other shit well, is let's, bullshit. Let's fight with impactful then. I think it's an illogical stupid is redundant it's not redundant impact full you've already said what the fuck it is why is fuller and more fuller impact it, he just it's explained stupid. it in that like it means characterized by okay. all right i'm ready to move on with this i'm so jesus upset. we all have been no i know i i mean nobody wants to hear this debate anymore right <laughs> i mean my god bring up some fart videos or something get me out of here okay all right <sighs> We go. So impactful. Videos. In a recent episode of the Bill Burt podcast with Burt Kirshner, Kirshner. <laughs> just that it never ends. I just like that it never ends. Relentless. Uh, I got you a guy that might turn you on. Something sexy for you. Is it Young Garth? No. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. His eyes are... Very open wide. He wants you to feel what he's saying. He's got spooky eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel his passion? He, his money. He's talking about his dinero. Oh. Yeah. I liked it. I wish you would sing to me in Espanol. Can you, you sing to me? Nah. Nah. This uh, morning as I woke up, I felt a nice touch. You actually touched my shoulder and I was so excited. I was like, ah. Yeah, I was looking for a pillow. <laughs> Thought there was a pillow over there. I <laughs> long for this kind of romance <laughs> for a man who just woos me like this. <laughs> Sing to me in Spanish. Oh, yeah. Quiero cagar. You have to shit? Yeah. <laughs> I want to shit, I said. I want quiero. Yeah. Now, they used to say, yo quiero Taco Bell. It's improper, right? It would just be quiero no, Taco Bell. No, you're right. Bell. No, he, yo quiero. That, that works. Yeah. yeah. I want. Well, you just said quiero. Yeah. I don't cagar. know all the grammatical rules. Okay. Tengo ganas de cagar. I have a wish to shit. <laughs> one of the I desire to shit. One of the moments I knew um, you were for me. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest moments in our relationship. There's been two great restaurant moments. <laughs> this is the off top top two moments with you in my life. Number one, we were at this brunch place in Silver Lake we used to go to all the time. Dusty's. I don't even know if it's around anymore. Yeah, on Sunset. And I said to you, I dare you to walk up to that bus boy and say, hey, I have to shit. Where's the bathroom? And you did it. Yeah, well, he came by the table. Right? Or did I get no, up? No, I got up. You went up because right. I watched you and you. And what did you say to him? I said, Me cago en el baño. <laughs> you said, Oye, 
Oye, me cago. ¿Dónde queda el baño? That's how you said it. Yeah. Oye, me cago. I have to shit. And he without a he blank. Like, <laughs> that's more like saying, I got a shit. Right. Where's the bathroom? But the best part of that is watching him just go, oh yeah, right there, homie. Like yeah. he did not even blink that some fucking widow came up to him and was like, hey, I got a shit mm -hmm. in Spanish. She was like, because you know you don't hear it every day like that from a patron. No, for sure. That was I didn't say, pretty rad. where's the bathroom? I made it clear that I got a shit. Right, the bathroom, which yeah. was the best moment. You were Number very excited two. about that. <laughs> Number two, we, we ate, as usual, way too much, much, much sushi. Much mm -hmm. sushi. Remember, it was like on Beverly somewhere. Uh -huh. Some real, 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 real sushi place where like we were the only fucking white people there. It was dope, and we ordered so much food. And um, what did you say to her? Remember, she drops the bill. She didn't speak much English. No, that was Redondo. Nam hat nam Redondo. This was in this was Beverly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not Redondo. And you go, no, I remember because it was this place was way shittier. This is like one of those shitty like rad. Then I don't remember what the story then, because the story I remember is in Redondo. No. You go, she goes, did you have, she goes, do you like, she's like, do you like the food or something? And you're like, I split my intestines. That was Redondo. That was that Arigato. I promise. That was not. It was. And one thing, I've, one thing I can say with certainty is that your memory is dog shit. I know. You don't so remember I, things that happened fucking I earlier don't, today. I don't care. I've had so many drugs in the last... <laughs> Well, it was like definitely pills. Casa Arigato. Okay, okay. So, Casa Arigato. How yeah. funny. It's like Spanish and Japanese. Yeah. But listen, okay, so what did you say to her? I though? said, she like, goes, how she was the you? food? I go, it was great. I think I tore my stomach lining. And she was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Man, I tore I my stomach lining? way too much there. <laughs> you ate We both did. We were yeah, like, I was like, oh. <gasps> And also, like, you know how much sushi you have to put down for it to make you feel like you want to die? Yeah. So much. Because you don't get real sick. You don't get full on sushi. Who the fuck? You can't get full on sushi. You can no. get full on rice. But you and I threw it down, homie. Yeah. yeah. You're like, I split my <laughs> stomach. <laughs> yeah. So much. <laughs> that was one of the... Those are the that, and then we went on our first movie date, and we saw that movie, um, Open Water. Mm -hmm. No, the Grizzly, Grizzly Man. Oh, the Grizzly Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, that's when the guy was like, "We don't know. We thought he was retarded." Yeah. And you and I started LOLing so loud because he wanted to be dropped off in Bear Country. <laughs> the last guy. He was like, mm. <laughs> and. I was like, oh, this guy's for me, dude. Like, the fact that you and I both laughed yeah. at that exact moment, like, I was like, I love you. Yeah, it was great. You're for me, homie. You're for me, homie. Oh, shit. We've had some good times together. Good times, Gene. Yeah. You know who he's looking for a good time? <laughs> hey, everybody. Quick message for today. In the past few months, in the past um, days, weeks. Weeks? <laughs> I do have a girlfriend. And she is the most beautiful soul I've ever met. And it's true. And um, it's Moana. You know, the, the voice actress that plays Moana. Ali'i Trevalo. She's my girlfriend. And I announced it to the world. I'm not afraid. We've been talking for months and I love her. <laughs> She's amazing. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. I'm announcing this. And it is true. Most of you would not believe me. Call me insane to lose her. I don't care. She is mine. And I love her. Okay. I like his shirt. Yeah, I like his necklaces too. What's going on? Uh, where'd this come from? <laughs> from his Instagram. Yeah. From his Instagram. Got, yeah. Just got sent in. And this is genuine? <laughs> yeah. It seems genuine. No, totally genuine. So is He's he saying he's dating the voice actress? Yeah. So mm -hmm. like that that is totally possible. Why is he like, why is he like I'm not afraid? Yeah. I don't understand. Is she a child? Is that because he's not dating a voice actress? Um, I don't think he's telling the truth. Uh, but he said, but yeah. then he adds, "I'm not delusional." <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the actress's name. Ali E. Travalo. Ali E. Travalo. Okay. She is mine. Uh oh. That that that's a She's little. She's my girlfriend. 
He's not oh, dating her. She's yeah, they're not Fuck dating. No. <laughs> oh no. Mm, sorry. No, she's way out of your league, bro. Get you're, the fuck out of here. Dating Moana. No, sweetie. No. no. Nope. This, this chick's definitely not Mm-mm. dating you. Big old thumbs down. No. No. <sighs> so that that it's it's a lie. I'm I'm gonna go out on the limb and say he's he's mentally not there. Or is he living his truth? I don't know. In this era, people are like, whatever you feel, you feel like you're dating Moana? I don't know. You're yeah. just living your truth. I Live get it. Live your truth, man. <laughs> Fucking, he's going to cry, though. <laughs> he's about to cry. I know. Poor God. I know. Why is it? Is, he, is it because he's been telling the lie and then so many people are like, you're not dating no, I think it, Moana. It's, uh, it's traumatizing to announce his truth. You know, like he, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> dating her she's mine he's like we've been talking <laughs> but he hasn't been talking to the maybe he's been talking to the <laughs> cartoon like he talks to Moana when it's playing and then he's like she's talking to me he's highly delusional which is funny that he actually points out that he's not delusional this is true this is grade A1 delusion this is yeah. <laughs> how dare you he's just speaking his truth Tom he's Oof. not crazy he's just expressing his feelings yeah God damn. Is there more to him? No. Hold on, can I take a pitch before we go to the next thing? Okay. I sure. need to pee so I can be so happy. Mommy's jeans, as you know, the main mommy is recovering from a broken ankle that happened about two and a half months ago. And I am not joking when I tell you that Theragun has been instrumental in my healing process. You know, I walk on my ankle all day and by the end of the night, it can be inflamed, it can be sore. All I do, I take out my Theragun and I rub it along the parts that are giving me problem. And I swear it like releases the tension, the knots. It feels like, I don't even know. It feels like you're, you're my little ankles walking on air after, and it sets me straight for the next day when I have to get up and walk on it all over again. It really is a tremendous product. And, you know, I think you can use it just to relieve the stress in your body. It is so special. Theragun is a handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power. The Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good. It gets to the source of the pain by releasing tension. It really does. This, this thing is so special. Uh, and I'm so appreciative of Theragun for being instrumental in my recovery. Uh, try Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. Go to Therabody dot com slash mom right now and get your gen four theragun today that's therabody.com slash mom therabody.com slash mom this episode of your mom's house is also brought to you by DraftKings. now is the time to celebrate the nfl is finally back and DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the nfl has millions of reasons why you should be excited to kick off the football season DraftKings is giving new customers a free shot at one million dollars the top prize with a total of four million dollars up for grabs for thursday's opener getting in on thursday's night single game showdown is easy draft six players from the season opener stay under the salary cap and see how your team stacks up against the competition so head to the app now feel the nfl action like never before with a free shot at a million dollar payday download the DraftKings app now and use code mom this week, new customers can get a free shot at the $1 million top prize and $4 million in total prizes. Enter code MOM to get a free shot at the $1 million top prize with your first deposit. That's code MOM only at DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the NFL. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com for full details. We're back. You peed. I did. I sissied hard. I pushed real hard. That's what doctors tell you to do. Mm-hmm. Um, what we got, homie? I that guy is so funny. He's not dating Moana. I was thinking about that. That was a really amazing clip that got sent. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. He's is he considered a cool guy? I don't know. That dude legit is, is like he a cool guy. I'm dating, but he's also. I mean, he's not doing well. You know. <laughs> I mean, he's about to cry. You know, talking about it. Mm-hmm not a good thing it's not a good thing no, no it's not he, a good um thing. It's a good thing <laughs> it's not definitely not a good thing mm, it's not a good thing um, do, 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 do. good where thing is, hold on i got this thing Dola, do you have any benadryl here benadryl i think so yeah 
going to take some later. Okay, <laughs> ready? I'm ready. Watch this one. Every time she comes in to sing on every record, you know, you start getting kind of sweaty and, and just love the way she smelled. How does she smell? That's it's, such it's, a loving thing to say. She smells like nothing's impossible. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. I hope this video doesn't scare you. God. Is this Trish? Yeah, of course. What do I smell like? You know what you smell like. What do I smell like? Like I wish you'd hold it in more. Oh my God. Babe, look how happy you are. Look, how, look at that smile. That's the happiest you've been all day when you're upsetting me. Look at you. Yeah, that's a genuine smile. You never smile like that unless you really zinged somebody good. God. Mm -hmm. You haven't been this happy all week. Then right now? And you're insulting me, yeah. Well, I mean, we've been having this conversation. That's why. It's, a, it's, a, it's revisiting a topic that's been coming up quite a bit. My farts. Yeah, and how I wish you could at least try to not let everyone out, you know? And look at that. Look at that. Not going to happen. Why? What's the point of being married if I can't fart in front of you? Well, you can, but you don't have to, like... No, listen, this is not an issue. Like, I cannot become somebody different. Now, you're asking me 17 years into a relationship to d be better, be different. It's not happening, babe. Why? What about your farts? I don't fart as much as you do. That's a lie. It's not a lie. What about your burps? You were ripping all morning. Yeah, I have indigestion. So what? Yeah. I have, I have, I have butt indigestion. She smells like oh. nothing's impossible. God. So I really like that. What's going on with that? Like, what is this That's such need? a gross thing to say. She smells like nothing's impossible. Oh, mm. and the way he said it. She smells you know like what it is? It's impossible. like, it feels grifty to me. Like, like he knows what he's doing. He knows that he's tugging on heartstrings when he talks well, he about his wife like that. And he knows that that G fan bait is going to be like, do you see how, <gasps> did y'all see what he said on the Good Morning Show when she asked him how, how Ms. Yearwood smells, and he's like, she smells like nothing's impossible. I wish Tucker would say that about I know. me. But see, I, I did the exact same thing, and I turned yeah. to you, and I was like, wish my fucking husband loved me as much as G loves Trish. I bet when he goes to bed, she's not like, <laughs> and then wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Bullshit. Trish. She probably sits on the toilet and does it. Trish eats. Yeah, I know, but she probably farts on a toilet. That's probably what happens. And he's bullshit. He's like, whenever she comes in to sing on a song, you start getting all sweaty and nervous. Bullshit. Not after 20 years. Come on. Every time she comes in to sing on every record, you know, you start getting kind of sweaty and, and just love the way she smelled. How does she smell? That's such it's, a loving thing to say. She smells like nothing's impossible. Oh, mm -hmm. God. And you know what, too? Like he, and look, the tears are about to yeah, fucking start running. Yeah, he's crying. His pussy's all fucking bloody again. Bullshit. And like, look how he, look how he, he look, look what he does. It's really deliberate. So you're Gail King. He's like, yeah. she smells like nothing's impossible. Mm -hmm. Like he makes eye contact with Gail and his head to cock, tug those heartstrings. Yeah, like it's so contrived. It feels so. Mm. And do you think he was given that question? In advance, so that he could. I don't know. I don't GFI. know. Yeah, they always give them the questions in advance. These big interviews, they don't, don't let them wing it. Here's what I'd like to ask Garth personally. Imagine a pig with tits. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, G. Hmm? You think anyone's ever asked him G. that? No way. Yeah. Nobody's ever said that to him. God. He gets his butt, butt licked constantly by, by his staff. No way. Cool stuff. Slick stuff. Neat stuff. Weird. Dude, out. nobody's challenging him on shit, bro. Ham. Uh -uh. And they haven't for years. Um, this is something I have not yet seen, but whenever I see something like this in my folder, I get excited. Okay. Your bars, love I can't save you. Sorry. What's your future and bad? What for? Jack Lifton. What? Jack Lifton. Yeah, you're oh, not allowed. Oh, you fucking half face fucking cow. Oh, you take your head out of You're not allowed. I don't look up there. Yeah. Ah, fuck off, you chicken Get out. Hey, you, you. You know what I always say? Time to rap and friends of you. Ta-da to fucking you. That was rad. That was pretty cool. 
Yeah, I love I that know, accent. I don't know anything basically that was said. Oh, he's ta da the uh, at the like, end. Ta-da yeah, ta da to, to, to fucking you. He's I like, got... I didn't steal this vodka, you cunt. You think I'm gonna steal a fucking vodka? No. Your bars, love a can't save ya. Sorry, you love a can't save ya. Shoplifting. You're shoplifting. Well, that vodka. Shoplifting. Yeah, you're not allowed. Who fucking half face fucking cow? Who do you think you're at? You're not allowed. A bottle of vodka. Ah, fuck half your chicken. Get out. Cows. Hey you, you know what I always say. Time to that and friends of you. Ta-da to fucking you. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I mean, I get it, but yeah. it's not like it's all clear to me. No. You know what I always say. I got that. Yeah, yeah. Ta-da to fucking I you. I love this. Yeah. I could just watch them talk. This accent is so adorable. Yeah, I know. That's what it's like in France, man. Everybody yeah, there French. speaks like this. I <laughs> choose your empire. What fuck it? You fuck it. Wait, what was that right there? Let's say it again. Let's say it again. From the beginning. I choose your empire. What fuck it? You choose your Antarctica folk it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Again. Choose. Again. I choose your aunt and folk it. You choose your aunt. You choose your aunt and folk it. You mm-hmm. choose your aunt and fuck it. Fuck your aunt, basically. You choose your aunt and folk it. Ta-da to fucking you. Ta-da, nice. ta-da to fucking you. Ta-da, ta-da to fucking ta-da you. Yeah. To, it's like ta-ta there, retard. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah. Ta-ta there to fucking you. Ta-ta there, retard. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Good timing. We got you. Man, bro. Ta-ta there, retard. Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah. Ta-ta there. Yeah. Ta-ta. Look at this guy's gear, too. I just, oh, the chains. Fuck, he's yeah. on it, bro. Ta-da to fucking you. Fucking. I like how they say they're yeah. fucking, fucking you. Yeah. You can fuck right off. And yeah. then fucking. It's fuck. It's pretty great. Fucking you. You know what? I love that movie, uh, Train Spotting, just to watch them talk oh, and try God. to understand them. And Francis Begbie. Like, yeah. Dude, I can't understand a word Begbie says. Ewan. Ewan McGregor. Oh, how great you is saw him he? in Halston now. One of these butt fucking dudes in the Halston. The performance of a lifetime. I just saw that. <laughs> I just saw a billboard. That it's the performance it's of a, such a good he show. He is an amazing actor, though. Ewan McGregor, I've been in love with him forever. Yeah, yeah. he's fantastic. He's aged really well, too. Hell yeah, he has. I wonder if he really takes care of himself. That's what it is. Him and Russell Crowe. I used to be a huge... Does not comparable as far as how they age. No, but I just, I've always liked them. Yeah, they're great they actors. young in their careers. I just yeah. love, I followed those two bros. I like those dudes. They bro down hard. Yeah, yeah. Ewan McGregor. Ewan yeah. McGregor. Yeah. Wait, where's he? Is he English? Ewan, Ewan is, is he Scottish? Maybe he's Scottish. Fucking shite being Scottish. Yeah. That's what he says in trains. Is he? It's fucking shite. This is the UK. Perth. Perth. Oh, so Scottish. Yeah. Scottish actor. He's yeah. Scottish. Yeah. You know what I really hate? I have mm. to admit. I really hated when, um, what's his name that plays fucking Shrek? Oh, Mike Myers? Yeah. I kind of hate when he puts on the Scottish accent. Why? Because I can tell it's like, I wonder if Scottish people hearing him do it think it's authentically as good. Because hmm. you listen to Ewan McGregor, you, you watch Train Spotting or this guy, and you're like, oh, that's a Scottish brogue or whatever the fuck yeah. they call it, a brogue, right? I don't, I don't know. know the word. But um, you, you hear Mike Myers, and you're like, that's just like a guy pretending to be Scottish. I got you. And it. I'll be like, it's like it's he good. He's pretty great no, at accents. He's, he's amazing. And li- hey, he's funny as shit. Yeah. I love Shrek. I love everything Mike Myers has ever done. But then every now and then I'm like, why Why the choice to make it him Scott? You know, like he's like, yeah. I can do the accent. Like, yeah, but it's, it doesn't but sound real to me. But he grew up to me. in Canada with Scottish, British parents. British parents. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know. I so don't know. So he could always dip. In and out of the usually like the British stuff, real easy. I mean, you know that was yes. uh, that was his. What was the other character? What was his love? Oh, the yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just because uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, it doesn't sound authentic. The it's, story uh, I I read about um, him and SNL is they were just like he was fucking unbelievable. I believe it. That he would write the great great sketches and that his sketches would just be home runs. Bangers. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he really has a talent of knowing like what th- it's a good sensibility. His sense of humor was just perfect for SNL. Yeah. Like he was a, he was a sketch character guy. He was part of the guy. class like I feel like everybody that at least that grows up in the states has an SNL uh period mm-hmm. that you grew up with and for me I think it started probably in 4th grade and it ran predominantly through maybe eighth grade, you know, those years. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, it kind of fades and you kind of go in and out in high school and stuff. But man, that foundation of like 
fifth, sixth, seventh grade is when I like the class that I grew up watching mm. in that time had Sandler, mm. Rock, Farley, Spade, Neilan, Mike Myers, Dana Carp. Like those were the stars Church during Lady. that during that time. Yeah, that was so awesome. it was like it's a good that's era. like a Hall of Fame era, I think. Yeah, you know? that's a tight era, dude. Yeah, and then I remember when that's why living. I think it's so nuts to run into. Neilan like, uh, and I Spade and like taught like it's Me fucking too. crazy man. These are my heroes because I yeah. grew up like David Spade had, st- had the, when he was doing the news desk. I just brought him on Hollywood stage Minute. the other day at the uh, at Supernova and I was like this is still crazy to me. I remember this David Spade joke. Um, it was when Cindy Crawford mm. did the commercial for Charlie. They call it Charlie. That was the name of the song and the commercial and he goes Cindy Crawford has a new ad out and they call it tone deaf. And I always remember like, oh, it's so he was so good he's at those so funny. Hollywood Minute snarky shits. His snark God, is he's the so best. so fucking funny. But then In Living Color came on and yeah. that show changed my life. Now yeah. that one, I memorized. Sunday night rolled around. I would watch it. I I write there like, oh my God, that was the funniest thing. I'd go to school and talk about with Shauna the well, next that, day. That cast was. Bangers, dude. Jim Carrey, yeah, Damon Wayans, yeah, David Allen Greer, Tommy Davidson, Keenan Ivory Wayans. I mean, those were like the. I mean, I'm leaving people out, but it was heavy hitters. Man. And fucking J Lo was one of the dancers. J Lo, the a Fly dancer. Girls. Yeah, the Fly Girls. The Fly Girl. Everything. Everything about that show was just banger, banger, banger. Too. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Oh my god. That shit. And then I loved when um, Dag did. The guy in prison that he's like, they couldn't pronounce. Was that him? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 woman with w- w- breasts. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. God damn. Homie dude. the clown. Homie the clown. Homie don't play that. Yeah. Homie would just smack kids in the head. Yeah, and that shit. shit was great. What a good time for comedy. God damn. That was, we're lucky we got to grow up with all that. And The Simpsons, back when The Simpsons were like the beginning, that was good. Also. Also. Amazing foundation. Yeah. I heard you bitches oh. looking for me. Bitch, here I go. Bitch, here I go. All right. Um, it's my time, bro. Not as many today. We have some, some but hopefully these are some real home runs. I got to say, last week, a little depressing. Kind of a depressing run, but I am somebody who respects that the <laughs> artist has different <laughs> feelings, and that may have been curated on a sad day. Listen, I was on a lot of oxys. I was in house quarantine with my broken limb that's what you get bro that's what you get so maybe this will be a brighter now that i'm on a better path okay here you go do tom lankas here you go talk number one hi hi (sighs) i went to walmart dressed like this that's normalized sex saggy boobs for women we have saggy boobs So what's happening today in today's world is like, I want to wear my hoary crocheted inappropriately cut top in public and I want to get away with it. So what I'm going to do is blame the man and I'm going to be like, let's normalize soggy boobs in poorly supportive crocheted tops. So when you put it on society... Instead of taking personal responsibility yeah, for your you looks. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's the new way to get away with any fucking form of lunacy yeah. you want to participate in. Can we please and normalize? Also, you can normalize like, saggy boobs without wearing that fucking top. That's what I'm saying. I feel like she sh- the next that's part of this TikTok is they asked me to leave. Of course. Yeah. Should be. Because they will. Because it's, inap- it's, it's just it's inappropriate. You know you know that. Look at that. Look at those milkers. Hi. <sighs> Huh? I went to Walmart dressed like this. And they asked me to leave. That's normalized sex and saggy boobs. For women, we have saggy boobs. Yeah. Let's normalize it. Well, you can. I you mean, can't no, normalize that top. No, the not. top isn't appropriate. You, you know what I mean? Like you, you kn- Saggy boobs are normalized, I sure. feel like. It, who's telling you? We all who's know telling that you? there's a full spectrum of boob sizes. Yeah. There's small boobs and medium-sized boobs yeah. and flat boobs and big boobs and yeah. Who who is in her life is shaming her for her soggy boobs? Walmart moves. said, "Please don't wear that here. Your tits are out." <laughs> they don't care how long and saggy they are. They just they're don't, out. Just any tits. Dude. Yeah. Good afternoon. Happy Sunday to everyone. Hope everyone has had a blessed day last night and having a great day today this afternoon. 
Here in Houston, the weather is awesome. It is nice and hot and humid. <laughs> Just finished doing tons of chores today. Headed to wash my, my SUV right now to the car wash. So stay positive, be blessed, get some rest. The week starts tomorrow. Let's make it exciting today. Talk to you later. Bye. This is one of those talks where they're like, have a good day, have a good tomorrow, and I hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm having a good Sunday. Are you having a good Sunday? And he also pointed out that it says happy Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. It's the beginning of the work week. If you're not <laughs> familiar with how days of the week normally go. And then uh, I'm going to go get my car cleaned right now. I hope you have. <laughs> I know. It's the best. Yeah. He likes to keep you updated on his life. Fully updated. And that's what I want. <laughs> Just to know everybody's absolute minimal move. But that not that the point? I feel like that's the point of social media is that now every like you have to let everybody know what you're doing. Exactly what you're doing. All the time. Yes. And he's just following Proto, you know, letting you know. Way to go, sir. This is um, at Larry M713. He's in Dallas. He's the in Houston. Weather's, oh, sorry. The Houston. And, and the weather's nice and hot today. It's hot. And Cicadas I'm are out. I can wearing hear them. shorts. Feels good. <laughs> that's another funny thing, by the way. <laughs> Um, that shorts are like I hate shorts. they're American. Oh, you learn that more oh, when you yeah. when you travel abroad. That people are like, "The fuck are you wearing?" 100%. Because Europeans wear capris. Yeah, men when it's hot, which are gay. They're AF too. so gay. <laughs> they're the gayest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. Short pants, yeah. essentially. I'd rather give six guys a hand job <laughs> at a bus stop than wear capris for a fucking minute. Yeah, yeah. They're well, so and Euros wear Speedos, too. They don't wear... True. Well, they used to. I don't know what they do now, but... Yeah. But I, I have contempt for men in shorts. I, I think it looks stupid. Why? They're just short pants. You grew up here. You, you're used to I, shorts. I know, but I feel like it's so childish. Like, you're, what are you, a fucking 10 years old? Just wear pants. Wear pants. I don't wear shorts. Shorts look terrible on me. <laughs> yeah. I, maybe it's just projecting my own thing, because I don't look good in shorts, and I, I just hate... I hate seeing ugly legs. I, I, I'm, you know... Yeah. I don't like it. I think it's an immature fashion. Ugh. Look at you, dick. Yeah, you look like a fucking dick. What? Especially when they're like preppy. I, I can't handle What kind it. of shorts do you accept? Baggy, like Cali ones. Like um I like shorts that go to the knee kinda. Long shorts. Long shorts that are like baggy. You like short pants. I like short pants, European short pants, yeah. Ugh. I hate preppy okay, like East Coast. Remember when we dressed up like douchebags for the West Palm Beach show? <laughs> yeah. Like those kind of <laughs> shirts. Those are ridiculous. I don't like the the khaki tiny like. suit. Those are real. That's a real picture. I thought that was a funny picture. <laughs> Hit that link, that Pinterest link there. <laughs> tiny suit shorts. Yeah, seventeen glorious <laughs> photos of men walking around London in tiny yeah I suit like, shorts. That's ridiculous. That is a real thing. No. Come on. Tiny suits isn't open on Sunday. They are now. See, there's a reason they put that police character from Reno 911 yeah, yeah, in yeah. tiny shorts because it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. All right, here we go. Tiny shorts is not. Oh, he's Back. getting it off. She. Her preferred plan is she. Someone has decided that this has ruined their life as well. <laughs> okay. I mean, look how painful that is. Poor lady. What? I feel like I could watch this all day too. Oh yeah. It's so soothing. I'm like, yeah, get it off, get it off. <laughs> it's a lady. So, well, it's a man that's transitioned to being a woman, and now she's getting her facial tattoos removed because she's not into them anymore. It's terribly, it looks terribly, look how still she's being, I mean, gosh, right around the mouth area has got to be so sensitive. When, when she's doing that, the, the, re, the removal part, it looks like it's actually coming off clean. Yeah. Well, that's because it's burning that top layer, ah. and then it'll heal, and then it's taking out the pigmentation in that layer of skin. Got you. So it'll burn, it'll crust up, heal, and then you have to do another layer and layer and layer and layer, so... I think there's seven layers of skin or something that tattoo goes mm -hmm. through. That's why it takes so long, because it's it's pretty deep in there. That's how they stay in the skin. This is intense. As the fuck. lips too. I know. Oi. Good morning. Happy Friday. Hope everyone had a great night last night. Ready for a great day and get ready for the weekend. It is weekend time. 
before I get started, anything else, I'll do a few shout outs this morning. I want to do a, a shout out for her birthday, Lauren Roskus. Uh, happy birthday. Have a great day. 20 years old today. Also, a happy Friday to Lauren, excuse me, Kyler, Breezy, and Kat. Just a happy Friday. Hope you'll have a great day. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Eric. <laughs> Eric is kind of down right now. He's oh, going through Eric. some personal, personal things right now. So, Eric, oh. just hang in there, man. Hang in just there. Just keep it up. Keep going. Get ready tonight. Go out and hit the clubs. You can get yep. it, boy. So, I want everybody to stay positive. Be blessed. Have it a, make it a great day today. And today's Friday, so what's tomorrow? If you don't work, it's weekend time. So have a good one, and be blessed. Bye. I just had a great idea. <laughs> Ready? Great idea. I would like Chris Larson to start doing posts like this. <gasps> I would like your next monthly post to be like, Hey, everybody, it's Chris Larson. <laughs> Uh, just finished work here. It's Friday. Weekend's coming, and I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Want to do a couple of shout outs? Everybody <laughs> sent me their butthole pics and their puss pics. Thank you very much to <laughs> Lauren and <laughs> Sheila and Stephanie and Rebecca. And uh, hope you have a great weekend. And I'll be back on Monday at work. I work here, and uh, stay positive. <laughs> can can we do that, please? I mean, I don't know if I have his level of charisma. Uh, you do. <laughs> You do. What if about, you're worried about it. You what do. about just forcing Chris to give birthday shout outs? Birthday <laughs> shout outs. And I, I want you to lift people up who are down. It and sounds like you want me to do like king videos. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Chris, please do this. Hey, please. Your boss asked you to do something. You better do it. Come on, man. No one no one's forcing you to do anything, but you know, make everybody here happier. <laughs> Just try practice. What, today is Friday. Wish everybody a happy weekend. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go ahead. let's hear let's a practice, practice run, <laughs> and start with Hey, it's Chris Larson. Hey, it's Chris Larson. <laughs> uh, happy Friday. It's tomorrow's Saturday, so I, I guess that means it's the weekend. Um, yeah, so it, hopefully you're getting off work soon. Um, That's good. Yeah, because it's Friday. Happy Happy Friday, everybody. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, we're going to start doing oh, this. Oh, man. Every Friday, you got to do the weekend shout outs. Yep, weekend shout outs. <laughs> no, okay, here's what it is it's happy Friday. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, tell me what you're going to do this weekend. And then oh, he's yeah. got to read off and then what you people say what, are going to do. And then you're going to say what you're going to do. You're be like, this weekend, I was going to get some new pillows. And uh, I got some yeah. laundry to do. I'm probably going to have dinner. And I just found a new recipe. I'm going to try that this weekend, too. Yeah, Chris. Okay, so tell them what you're going to do this weekend. Go ahead. What are your plans? Oh God. Um. I, yeah, everybody. I'm. I'm uh, gonna probably f- fix the fix the lock on my door and uh, maybe cook some dinner. Um. Yeah. Just prep for the for the week. You know. Uh. Maybe cook four meals so I have one mm-hmm. one meal for the day and then I have a fun fun day one one day of the week and um. Yeah. I'm gonna gonna enjoy this weekend. It's uh. It's good to be good to be back in L.A. for this weekend. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Thanks. Man, wow. you're really killing it with you're this. You're natural. You're a natural. All right, we're going to get him on TikTok tune too, okay? All oh, right. yeah. The problem oh, with Chris Larson is that he's almost too good at this. He gives information. Now, the secret to these duds is you can't actually give any information. You just yeah. be like, I'm good. Are you good? You give yeah. him, you get, what are you looking at? No, is that a shadow? Okay, I thought all of a sudden I saw bruising, and I was like, oh, my God. Is, no. Okay, I was like, oh, wow. You've been pushing me around? No, I just thought that maybe you were, like, going through a cardiac episode or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look how happy you were about that. Why are you <laughs> laughing? You're like, I'm worried you're in cardiac, and then you laugh? <laughs> God, you're so mentally <laughs> ill. <laughs> God, you're, at your happiest when you're insulting me or when I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that? No. Look how thrilled you are. This is the happiest you've been all episodes. You uh. think I'm going in a cardiac arrest. <laughs> Look at you. God, you have fucking emotional problems. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Okay, should we keep going? <laughs> please, please do the video call. I want to fuck you. Please, <laughs> please beg me. Please. I I am very much interested. Fuck you, please. I'd like to see that from Chris Larson too. Oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Horny talks. Yeah, you're asking for a lot now. <laughs> <laughs>
that was re- that was really cool. That was a good one, right? Yeah. So so this this so this is like ramping up to the weekend when the horny talks start coming. People start they drinking. They start on Thursday, right? They start Thursday night generally, and then by Sunday it is horny fever all over the talks. At least in my feed, people get fired up. Okay, pretty cool. This guy is so horny. Yeah, I love this. Ooh, watch this. <laughs> Putting that cayenne on these motherfuckers. Watch this bitch. Watch this. Nah. Uh. Yeah, but. Oh. Just put some fucking cayenne on there and some soy sauce. They're just all alive and crawling. Yeah, bro. That's she serious. eats them right out the bowl, homie. Really? This bitch is wild. She does all those mukbangs or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That's live. Mm-mm. Hard pass. G E T L I V E I. <laughs> All right. Damn. So you're missing your your front teeth. I only have six teeth in my mouth. How do you chew? I gum everything. Really? So you don't eat steak? <laughs> I do. Just- there are certain foods that I eat that I have to cut in small pieces, and pretty much I just swallow them whole, just like a snake does. That? No, I'm sure you still get the nutrients. Yeah. So it's taken some time to get used to it, a different way of eating. So, you know, there are different things that change in my life because of my transformation, and eating is one of them. If you see the pattern of what's going on, there's several stages of evolution. So my transformation is a metamorphosis, and I will reach the end stage as a full dragon when I have all my procedures completed. Moving on. My name is Tiamat. Legion Medusa. And you are? I am no. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm curious. I mean, what's happening here? This was really a good find. I mean, he, he's converting to be a snake. Well, he's a snake now. He wants to be a dragon. And he only. <laughs> <laughs> he only has six teeth, so he gums everything. I got it all. And I, the eyes Everything's are, understood. I mean, dude, you're not fucking blown away. I'm I, upset. <laughs> Listen, in the history of shit that I have found on the internet, I would argue this is top 10 fucking crazy, bro. I don't like it. Of course not. That's the whole point. That's what I love. Is when no, you don't I like, like things that <laughs> are wild that I like, not that I don't like. I don't like this. Do you think, now hold on, just listen to me for one second. Do you think in today's world that he has a therapist who's like, yes, this is wonderful. You're finally becoming the dragon snake you've always no. wanted to be. No. You need to go with this. Your feelings are important. You feel like a snake. You are a snake. Or do you think they're like, listen, you've got severe emotional <laughs> I, I think this person doesn't have the uh, wherewithal to seek out a therapist. I think they're like, I'm my own therapist. But do you yeah. <laughs> You know people like that. But hold on. I, I, I talk to myself. Yeah. <laughs> That's who I mostly talk to is me. <laughs> Do you think, though, if this story were to go into the media and people would congratulate him, like, man finally becomes a snake he's always known he can be. And, like, we congratulate him for his metamorphosis or do we recognize it as mental illness? We all know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Let's move to the next one. What's the narrative for the snake guy? Is <laughs> in today's society, it's like, good for him. <laughs> stop showing me this person. That's the fucking narrative. <laughs> oh, there she is. I just picked all these cucumbers today. Cucumbers. So I guess I'm going to be making pickles. She's like Ilaria and Baldwin. And with over 35 plants of tomatoes, these just started coming in today. So I picked all of these. Yeah, your tits are too big. <laughs> no one ever told you that? <laughs> no, so people do tell her she's 67 years old and she wears bikinis a lot and she likes to show off her body and her husband takes bikini pics of her. She knows what she's doing. She's like that lady last week who was making... Could you turn the heater off? Coconut macadamia snacks with her boobs out. Like, yeah. this is just another excuse to show off her tits in a tank top. She's like, I picked all these cucumbers. Yeah, she's holding dicks. Yeah, it's she just dicks. It's two bowls of dicks. And no, I can't turn the heater off because I am... I'm cold. How are you cold? Because I've been the shut-in for the last eight weeks. Okay. My blood. Well, this was a lot of fun. I really, I really, actually, I don't really think you did feel fun. I the only time really? you had fun is when you thought I was going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> that was the funniest moment. 
But I had a fun time doing the show today, I'm saying. Oh, okay, but I feel like you, I wanted you to leave on a positive TikTok and like. Oh, no, I mean, these, you know, these were better than the last ones. The last <laughs> batch was real sad. This was better. You feel like I'm back online Yeah, now? yeah, yeah. You're doing well again. <laughs> My mental health is I in thought, a better place. I thought when I looked down that this was all turning black and blue and I was like, oh. <laughs> like, what are you seeing? <laughs> Well, it's just a shadow. That's all I'm seeing is a shadow. And I see a shadow on your neck, and I don't think. I know, but at first, it just threw me, and I was like, uh-oh, you know? Uh, your fantasy is something different than reality, homie. I think you're fantasizing that I've got, like, bruises on me. Is no. that what you wish you saw? No, I thought I was seeing, like, you know, the spirit kind of creep up and choke you out. And I was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. So, <laughs> All right. Uh, the closing song is Peterson Connell by <laughs> Craftmatics. This was a lot of fun today. This I was thought. a lot of fun. Yeah. See, we always do well. Just you and me, homie. It we, was fun. We it was really sit fun. Sit down. We party. We. Now I got to go get this fucking stupid thing off my arm. I can't wait. I can't wait for you. You're gonna be. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. You guarantee you it. Get that shit off. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Later, homies. Peterson Connell and Connell and Connell and Connell. This is America, you dumb son of a bitch, okay? What? You're fired, buddy. You're fired, buddy. You're fired. Ta-ta there, Richard. Ta-ta there, Richard. Peterson Connells and Connells and Connells and Connells and Connells and Connells. What's up there, Chomo? What's up there, Chomo? What's up there, Chomo? Retired double H, you fucking return, fucking return. Fucking return. Fucking return. Okay, so how do you get a job here, there, fuck face? Okay, so how do you get a job here, there, fuck face? You know what? You're fired, okay? You didn't follow Proto. Peterson Connells and Connells and Connells and Connells and Connells. You fuck it, baby, Ray, 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 baby, Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of your mom's house. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a your mom's house video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.